All right, this is Tom Beal. If you are watching this on Omar Martin's profile, do not adjust the dial. We have hijacked Omar's stream and you are in for a treat. My name is Tom Beal. I will be the MC of Commission Expo in Orlando soon. And we have the featured keynote speaker, the one and only Davin Michaels with us today. Davin, thanks for being with us today. Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me, buddy. All right. So <laughs> as you can possibly witness behind Davin, he is not the normal speaker. This guy has an entrepreneurial journey that will knock your socks off. A lot of people claim to be rock stars. He's a legitimate rock star with a history of that and working with some of the best known artists uh, of our recent times. But on top of that, he's been an entrepreneur who has helped and positively impacted thousands of, of uh, businesses and results throughout the globe with a company you probably have heard of. If you haven't, uh, I'm happy to introduce you. He is the CEO of 123 Employee, and from that service has dramatically impacted results throughout the world. And he recently uh, started up a another uh, uh, opportunity called VEA, Virtual Entrepreneurs Association, which once again is his way of reaching out and helping entrepreneurs in a way that no other uh, association is doing. So, Davin, I'm excited to have you as a keynote speaker at Commission Expo. Can you give people a little bit uh, of an idea of what they're in for with your presentation in Orlando? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm super excited. Uh, Tom, you and I have been buds for a decade, traveled all over the globe together. Omar and Melinda, we've been friends for almost as long, and we've traveled all over the globe together. So um, I'm excited to be doing it. I'm honored that you guys actually asked me to speak at the event. So I'm, I'm just super pumped to, to be with the audience. And uh, a little background on me, I've been self-employed uh, self for about three decades. Um, many people know me through my outsourcing company, 123 Employee. We've been around for the last decade. Uh, we're the premier outsourcing centers in the Philippines. We work with entrepreneurs all over the globe, some of the biggest thought leaders on the planet like you, doing all the busy stuff in their business, internet marketing, social media, telemarketing, back office tasks, inbound, outbound voice, all the busy stuff or BS in their business so they can focus on the income generating activities in their business and the things that really juice them and excite them. Our mission at 123 Employees to rescue lifestyle starved entrepreneurs, give them their time back and their lives back. And then as you know, also recently, as you alluded to, we, we launched VIA, uh, the Virtual Entrepreneurs Association, which is all the tools, resources, discounts, education that a small business owner needs. And really, in, in all of my years in business and my last decade as a speaker and an info marketer and as a uh, outsourcing company business owner, my focus has been leads, getting more business, marketing, marketing, marketing. It's all about marketing. And I believe that if you can get the marketing dialed in your business, and usually that's, you know, traffic generation, right? Tra generating a mass amount of traffic. If you can dial all that in, if your bank accounts are overflowing with money, you can probably buy yourself out of just about any challenge you face in your business today. So at the event, I'm going to share a ton of different strategies to generate more business, both offline and online. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to outsource and delegate everything so that you can focus on scaling your business. Because today, Tom, as I'm sure you'd agree, there's a million things that an entrepreneur can do. And I think what's made a lot of that happen is technology and innovation. I mean, the reality is you can be like a one-man band in your business. You could do everything in your business. You could, do, you could be fulfillment, and you could be shipping, and you could be marketing, and you could be sales. Of course, we would need a 200-hour day, right? But it's possible, and so many entrepreneurs are trying to do that just because it's, because it's something they could do in theory, not, not effectively. Uh, but the reality is you, know, you want to outsource and delegate all all the minutia off your plate and really focus on scaling your business. And, and I, I know so many internet marketers, so many of them are my best buds. I'm one myself. And, and I'm always amazed at, at, you know, how good they are at marketing, but how bad they are at scaling a company. Right. Uh, and so you really want to get all that dialed in. So during my presentation, I'm going to show a ton of different ways to generate leads, but then I'm going to show you how to get leverage on that so that you can focus on really growing a thriving business. Well, you were speaking directly to me when I began. I was the hamster on the wheel and just running like like, yeah. as, like as hard and fast as I could and looking over and like, wait a minute, I'm not even making any progress because there's only 24 hours in a day. So if you ever felt like, yes, you've got the skills, you've got the know-how, but you are that hamster on the wheel, there's no one who knows better how to turn you into that entrepreneur who has the ways to scale, the way to systemize, the way to delegate, the way to do it in a manner that Davin has. I mean- yeah. Uh, and, and you're in for a treat. So not only is Davin an amazing entrepreneur, uh, as, as you mentioned, we've traveled the world together, but he's a real caring person who 
uh, at live events. I've seen him take time at the bar, at dinner, at stuff, just conversations, and give the additional insights that might be the thing, not from stage, but the thing that's specific, pertinent to you after you heard what he had to share on stage. You pose a question to him. Uh, he's there to, to help. The guy has a huge heart. So uh, can you share, Davin, the power of live events of, yes, you're going to rock the world at the, at the, on the stage and there will be taking copious notes that can change your life. But there's much more than that with you and the other experts with the networking that can occur in an event like this. For sure. And, and Tom, I appreciate your kind words. And, and I'll tell you this. I mean, yeah, I, I, I do that. But honestly, I do it I love doing it. It, it. My favorite thing, and I know you enjoy it too, is just hanging out, exchanging ideas, ch- trading marketing ideas and strategies and methodologies. And I just love hanging out with like-minded entrepreneurs. I, I love doing it. So it's not even, it's not even like a, you know, a, a task for me. It's just something I, I just dig doing. It's, it's really fun. So yes, of course you'll see me at the bar having a cocktail and, and hanging out and, and exchanging ideas. So I love doing that. But I will tell you this, mm-hmm. without exception, Every single, every big deal that I've ever made pretty much in my life have come, the origin has come from an event, from a live event. That is always where you make the best deals. Uh, it, it's always where you, you meet the best people. Um, you know, I've, I've had six, seven, eight figure deals that I've forged at events. Uh, and, and I think the reason why is because that's when you have a chance to go deep. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll get on calls with people and we'll work out deals and so on and so forth. But when I get a chance to spend time with somebody and go deep, it's like, Oh, oh, I didn't know you did that. Or you have that agency or I, I had no idea you were connected with this person. Can you connect me with him or, or, or quite often, of course, when I speak at an event, people will come up to me and say, Hey, I have an event coming up. You want to come speak at my event? And then, you know, that's money too. So, so all of my best deals happen at events. You know, the two reasons we go to events are knowledge and networking. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I, I just thought of it. At the event, I'm going to share a strategy for networking to add a zero to your bank account, something that you can literally use immediately at the event. I'll teach you the strategy, and then you can execute it live at the event. So that, that'll be really awesome. But, but all of my best deals, bar none, come from events. I believe that all of my successes really come from three things, mentorship, mastermind, and coaching. And, uh, and so as a part of that learning process, I'm always at events, front row, taking copious notes and, and making connections because I just love people and I love making those connections. So bar none, you know, if you want to add a zero to your bank account, be at events and especially Omar and Melinda's and Tom's amazing events. So, yep. yeah. And friendships. So not just the big business deals. I mean, uh, you, uh, uh, we, we've been friends for like you said for over a decade. And, and it's funny, we were at your a beautiful place in Puerto Rico and you're like, oh, by the way, we have pictures of, of you and Wanda on the, we're, we're we punk- like at our houses, we got pictures of one another because the friendships of the, the long-term attending events, meeting one another, liking it, doing business together. Yes. But also forging friendships from it. So, yeah. And, and, and also, you know, if you're watching this, you're coming to the event, the odds are that you're involved in or engaged in affiliate marketing in some way, shape, or form, right? So you are an affiliate for other people or they're an affiliate for you. Um, but basically, so, so, so I guess my point is that your best friends that you'll have will be your friends that you make money with. So, for example, we have probably, I think, I haven't checked lately, but we probably have 6,000 plus affiliates with one, two, three employee. And I love those people because I don't, I pretty much don't know any of them, but I consider them my invisible workforce, right? Because day or night, all over the globe, they're generating business for me. Now, these are mostly small affiliates. Maybe they send me a deal a year, but of course, times 6,000, that certainly adds up. But then what we have is what we call our joint venture partners, which are just an affiliate as well. But the difference is these are the big boys and girls. They can generate me 10, 20, 30, 50, a hundred thousand dollars, hundred and fifty thousand dollars in ninety minutes. Now I will tell you, friends like that are the greatest friends in the world, okay? (laughs) Because they're not just bros, you know, and bro ets, they're they're also like you make money with. Like it's so much fun to have a best bud that you make money with. And of those JV partners today, we have maybe six or 700 of those. I know every single one of them by name. They're great friends of mine. We travel the globe together and have great adventures together like you, Tom. Um, you know, we, we, when we take trips, we, we call each other up. What are you doing? Let's go together. Um, and also, you know, I love taking those people out too and, and, and ta- you know, taking them out to, to extravagant dinners and fun things because why, why wouldn't you? You know, if they're making you all this money, it's a write-off. It's a great thing. So, so these are where you're going to get your best affiliates. These are where you're going to make these deals. And also, um, you know, if you, if you know me personally, there's, there's, a, there's a little phrase that I have always said for 
somebody taught me this when I was 15 in my first business. My accountant said to me very early on, they, he said to me, uh, partnerships are sinking ships. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I took that to heart and, and I had very few traditional partnerships in my life. I've had a few and of those few, I think one of them turned out to be amazing yep. and the others turned out to be horrible. So, so my point is, I, I believe that the traditional partnership model is flawed. It's tough. I mean, it's basically like a sexless marriage, right? I mean, it's, it's just, and, and, and it's, 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 it's really hard. But the new paradigm, which is, you know, affiliate marketing, joint venture partners, it's wonderful. I mean, Tom, you and I do a deal. You get money. I get money. You get, if, you, uh, if you're found embezzling money from the IRS and you go to jail tomorrow, I have nothing to do with you. Right? I mean, it's like we we're not connected in any way, shape, or form. We just come together to do a deal, right? And it's all handled electronically. I can see you know, what you're generating. You can see what I'm generating. There's no playing. And, and we just make money and have fun. And, and these, are, these are the kind of relationships that you're certainly going to forge at the event. And, and these are the joint venture partnerships that aren't sinking ships. There's, there's nothing wrong with these. These are right. beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Yeah, tra- traditional partnerships, sinking ships. Right. Joint venture partnerships, awesome ships. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. lead to friendships, right? So, yeah. Davin, you and I have been going to events for a long time. Uh, we take it for granted as just a core of what we do because there's so much value in it. For someone who maybe hasn't been to this uh, event or any event for that matter, how important is it for them to say, you know what, it may not be convenient, it may not fit the schedule for whatever reason, but change the schedule, choose to be there, get your ticket. If you have to get a plane, get the plane. If you have, however you get there, get there. Also get the hotel room and be at the live event. How important is it for those type of people? Well, super important. I mean, here, here's the reality. If you are experiencing any you know, sort of glass ceiling in your business. If, if you're here, but you want to be here, or if you're struggling to make it happen to even get to this level, events will allow you to shatter through that ceiling. That is just the key to the whole thing. I'll tell you, you know, I've been self-employed for over 30 years now, but when I entered the marketing space a decade ago, I went to an event and I did a hot seat. So if you're not familiar with a hot seat, they basically, I pulled up my, my web presence and my business and what I was doing. And, and then we had a, a, an audience of experts there critiquing slash tearing me apart. And, um, you know, I showed up thinking that I really had it dialed in and they, uh, my business model was good, but my website was terrible. And they looked and they're like, oh yeah, 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 you got to change this. And they tore it apart. And I immediately fixed that. And, and then between that and the deals that I made at that first event, um, my business really started to flourish. As a matter of fact, thinking back to that event, that is where I brought on my VP Bajal, which was my very first C-level exec who's been with me a decade now. And that was very interesting because I had at the time a couple hundred employees, I think maybe a hundred or so. And so I had leverage in my business, but there were all these things that I knew that I could implement my business. I had these big ideas that I knew that would move the needle, but unfortunately it was too high level for even my people. It was like, I needed more of me in the business. And so it wasn't until I had more of me in the business you know, another one of me that, that I was really able to grow the business exponentially and that changed everything. There's been several tipping points in our business, but bringing on Bajal was certainly one of the most profound tipping points in our business. And once again, just a byproduct of a great event. So you can't stay on the couch. You cannot stay on the couch. If you want to take, you know, if you're here and you want to go here, you, that's not going to happen on the couch. You know, you can keep piddling along and making a living, but if you're ready to take it to the next level, the event's where it's at. Absolutely. And so here you are, you're going to see Davin who rocks it from stage every time I've seen him present each and every time he shares the, the absolute uh, strategies that are working right now for the people in the audience. You're going to have copious notes that are applicable right away for you to take your business results to that next level. You're going to be able to network with Davin and the other speakers, the other attendees. We're both looking forward to seeing you there. Mark these dates down. They're, they're at the site. The link will be here. Click on that link. Go reserve your tickets. It's, it's this September 25th through 29th in Orlando, Florida, which isn't a bad place to have it as well. Make it a little trip if you can, but be there the 25th through 29th for Commission Expo. Click that link and get prepared to take your business and take your results to that next level. Davin's going to be there helping you uh, as well as the other speakers are. We're both excited to see you there. Uh, and, and Davin, one last, one last thing, anything that's, that if they're, 
if they're on the fence and still. Yeah, have- well, one thing I will tell you, and that's just because you brought up Orlando being not a bad place to hang out. During that time is the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. We go to it every year. I love it. Have you been to it before, Tom? Um, no, we've been to Epcot and done the tour of the world, yeah. whatever, but not right. the food festival. This sounds right. Like- this is totally different. So we should go, you and I and Wanda, we should all go for sure. And, uh, it is so awesome. They have like tapas, not topless tapas, uh, which is also that happens in Orlando too, but tapas, uh, uh at the stations all over the park and all these great wines and beers. And oh my God, it's so much fun. The food is wow. so good. It's such a blast to do with friends. So, so plan to do that too in the evening. It's just the great it's going to be an awesome event. Uh, Omar and Melinda are, are veteran marketers. Tom, of course, is like veteran, veteran marketer. He's like a grandpappy marketer. So, um, so anyways, it's going to be awesome. There's going to be so much to learn, so many great connections to be made, and great food at the Epcot uh, Food and Wine Festival. So. Awesome. I wasn't aware of that. I'm excited now even more so. So get your tickets. Go now. Get the link. Click on it. Go reserve the tickets. We look forward to seeing you there. It will be the event. I I know I have events I look back on. You just shared yours, Davin, the one where you you brought Bijal on. I have events where I met uh, the people that totally transformed every aspect of my life. That's what we want for you. It will happen at Commission Expo. I look forward to seeing you there. Davin, thanks for being with us today. I'll see you in Orlando soon. See you there.